Some wonderful news. TikTok has been banned in the US. Why do I say it's good news? Well, because it opens up a lot of opportunities for new creators. You don't have to use TikTok, but now there's going to be a lot more traffic on Instagram and a lot more traffic on YouTube. But apart from those, I'll show you one more platform, which is going to skyrocket from today because it allows AI content. It allows you to sell the AI content that you can make with Flux model. And today I'll show you how to make consistent characters with Flux, where to find it and how to use it. So let's just start with it. First of all, there's a lot of these and some of these you have to pay for them, such as this one. As you can see, each run costs approximately this amount of money and it is good. It is realistic, but you also have it on hugging face. You can just Google for it or just click the link down there. But maybe the best one and the one that you don't have to pay for is Flux.1 AI. You can just find it on Google like this. So it is Flux.1 Image Generator. And it's going to be the first result here, as you can see it. And of course, Tensor Art. Tensor Art is my favorite one. Let me just show you what can you do with this one. So this is Flux.1 AI. And as you can see, I use this prompt, a dark haired woman in her early 30s playing the piano. Now, what I really, really like about Flux Model is the fingers and the hair. And just take a look at these fingers here on the piano. I mean, it's just like it's 10 fingers, right? A lot of these AI models, well, they do it badly. You either have like an extra finger or two or you have an extra hand or two, you know, it's it's it tends to be bad. But this one is not. This one is really, really good. And they also have this option, which is image to video and hence the name. As you can see, you can just turn your images into videos really, really easily, such as, for example, this one. Just have a look at this one. So it just moves, right? So this was made from a picture and the picture was this one. So it was an original image. Let me just increase the size of it so you can see it. So it was this image. Or, for example, if you want to make something for YouTube, you can make something like this, right? So it's really, really good and it's powerful. But as I told you, I want to create consistent characters using Tensor Art and I want to sell it online. And first of all, just head over to Tensor Art, just log in and find this model, which is Flux.1 Dev FP8. Just click on it and you will land here. Now we just have to click on the run button here. So it's just going to run this on your computer and it's going to look like this. So first of all, this is the place where you put the prompt. So I use 25 year old woman standing in front of the pool. She has a blonde hair and this is like the image that I've got. It's really natural, right? So it doesn't look AI ish if I can say like that. So it's really, really good. And then you use the same C number and put the same person on a couch, right? So this is what you got to remember. If you use the prompt, you will always get the seed number, right? And you find the seed number here. Here it is. It says seed right here. And all you got to do is you have to copy the seed number if you want to go with consistency, because, well, it's the only way you can make money by using this. Just like those Instagram pages, you know, these digital content creators, the face is consistent. The poses and the backgrounds, well, they change those, but the face has to be consistent. That's why we use this. So now I can make this person in a totally different background. I can just put her on an airplane, whatever, but I just have to copy this seed number and give another prompt. So what I can do now is I will just paste the seed number here on the left. As you can see, this is the place where you put the seed number and this is the place where you change the prompt, right? So now I'll just use this. Let's just, yeah, let's just do this. Let's just sitting on a plane, right? So that's what we're going to do now. I'll just use 25 year old woman sitting on a plane. She has blonde hair and I'll just do that. Advanced settings, you don't have to tamper with it. You can add lures. Lures are good if you just want to add a certain style to your pictures. But I just want to keep this, you know, as realistic as possible. So I just use it like that. 
the prompt is here the c number is here and i'll just click on the generate button once more of course we'll just have to wait for it here it is and now all you gotta do is to make a lot of these right just make a lot of these pictures and get the money for it okay but where to sell these well, there is one place, because if you want to do it with OnlyFans, let's say you can't sell AI content there, because OnlyFans prohibits the use of AI-generated content, blah, 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 blah. But there is this. This one is called dfans.xyz, right? So it's dfans.xyz, and this is the place where people come and they pay subscriptions to see AI-generated content. Go figure. The world is crazy, right? Yes, it is. But you can make money with it. If there are people, if there is demand for it, if there are people on this platform and it's live, people are there and they use crypto mainly. Well, if the demand is there, well, you can just go and get some money for yourself. It's not going to be thousands of dollars coming to you each week when you start, of course, but it's a good way good side hustle and you don't have to do a lot you just have to use tensor art and one more thing that i'll show you later on so what is this well you become a creator right you make these pictures people enjoy in those pictures and you just sell your content with pay to view with a subscription plan right so all you have to do is to remember the seed number from a picture that you firstly generated right so this was my first picture actually so I liked my model right and I copied the C number for myself and then I just put her in front of the pool and then I just put her on a plane right so you can see it's the same girl it's because I used the same C number right there is one more option and one more way to do this though so the second way to do this is to head over to Google and then just type this in focus GitHub, right? So it's focus, but with three O's, right? So just click on it. It's going to be the first one here. So this is Illisville focus, click on it, and then you'll be redirected on a GitHub. Now what you got to do, you just have to scroll down a bit. And until you find this here, just let me just find it real quick. It's down there somewhere. It's here, open in Colab. So this is going to open Google Colab. You don't have to run it on your own machine. This is Colab on Google. And all you got to do now is to click on connect button, which is located here. And then you just have to wait a bit. Now, when you get this check mark here, you just have to click here on this play button, click on run anyway, and then just wait a few minutes. It's going to be two minutes. So what's going to happen It's going to install everything that it needs. And then, then down there, you just have to wait for this link to appear. So it ends with gradio.live. You click on it, and then you're going to be redirected to a page where, well, let's just say things are easy. All you have to do with this one, let me just increase the size of it. All you got to do with this one is to click here on input image. And now you have image prompt here. And then you have to download the picture of your model. Remember my model? This is going to be my model. You get the picture by clicking on this button, which is download, and then you just upload the image here. So it's going to be this, right? There are some advanced versions here, but you don't have to play with it. I would click on face swap here, and then all you got to do is to put like this. So blonde girl is sitting, let's just say, in a kitchen like this let me just do this so blonde girl is singing in a kitchen and i use this as my image prompt and then i just click on generate here and there you have it you get two images with the same person right and it's always going to be this person you can maybe use now these images as an image prompt here but it's always going to be the same person and you will have that consistency which is by far the most important thing you know you have to keep your model consistent if you want to fool people that well actually we're not fooling them you're just offering this on an ai content generated website so it just has to be consistent because yeah just because of the illusion of it registering here is pretty easy you can sign in with email google or with x this is shady right but it's possible right you can sell this kind of content online by just creating it here and yeah on tensor art there's a lot of possibilities there's a lot of models 
I invite you to explore on your own, just practice, play with it, and you'll see the possibilities. It's just endless. And with every new day, new possibilities are coming, and this is just evolving, you know. AI is just, well, it's too big, and it's going too fast. So, that's about it. Easy peasy, right? You just have to be consistent, and you have to show up every day. You don't have to use defense. You can use Instagram. There's a lot of successful creators there as well. And yeah, no TikTok. More places for us on YouTube, on Instagram, on DFans, wherever, right? Especially if you're new. So go work on it. I'll catch you later.